Yeah, I got a new helmet. <laughs> it's a 100% status. Okay. Ugh. That's pretty hard to talk in. This helmet is a 100% status. Very nice, very comfortable. Not their highest end helmet, but I still really do like it. It's my first full face. I have worn them before, but this is probably the best one that I've worn so far. And it's really comfy, really breathable. It doesn't have very many vents up here, but all these little vents on the back and up front, it makes the helmet pretty breathable. Where I live, you don't really need a helmet like this. This is for a downhill race I'm gonna be doing with one of my friends. It's gonna be the Fernie BC Cup or something. I'm not really sure. It's on like the 17th to the 19th of July. And you need to have a full face for it. So I got this. I think I'm also gonna be getting a pair of pads. Not too sure on that. Although I probably will because I want them for like, not just because I want pads, but because I want them so I'm like safer when I ride. But I got the helmet so far and I can't wait for it. I'm not gonna film myself doing it, mainly because I don't, I just wanna have fun with my friend. Cause we're going out there together and we're just gonna have a fun time. So I'm not gonna film myself, but no one would ever be able to meet me out there, but if you could, that'd be cool. This is for a downhill race I'm gonna be doing with one of my friends. It's gonna be the Fernie BC Cup or something. I'm not really sure. It's on like the 17th to the 19th of July. And you need to have a full face for it. So I got this. I think I'm also going to be getting a pair of pads, not too sure on that, although I probably will because I want them for like, not just because I want pads, but because I want them so I'm like safer when I ride. But I got the helmet so far, and I can't wait for it. I'm not going to film myself doing it, mainly because I don't, I just want to have fun with my friend, because we're going out there together and we're just going to have a fun as a full face should be. Uh, this is a medium. There's a sticker up here. If you can, if you can read it, you don't know if you can. Uh, it's snug. The chin buckle is pretty nice. It's got a little button here that this thing connects to. Once you wrap it around, there's a little metal bit. It doesn't have a dial back here to like tighten up the compression of the helmet, but it does feel pretty nice and it fits pretty well. At the shop that I got it from, there was also a pro frame, but that was a lot more than this. And this is really all I needed for a bike race that I'm gonna be doing with a friend. The visor is pretty cool because there's a little tiny thing up here that's really tight. Uh, so you twist this little thing right here. If you can see it, there's a little thing right here. You twist that just like anything. And then if you twist it, you can move the visor a little bit. Not very much, but a little bit. And if you want it to stay somewhere, you just tighten it back up. Now, the padding in the helmet, it's got quite a bit, obviously. And it's really comfy. The, the pads are soft and squishy, so they don't like hurt your face and they don't really rub either. They're like, just sit there and they don't feel bad. Um, I do like the visor on it. And I'm also gonna be getting a pair of, well no, I already have a pair of goggles. They're a pair of ski goggles. And I'm hoping they go good with this. If you want, you can search me up on the CCN Bikes registration thing. I'm not really sure. You can search me up and my friend Keaton Murphy and my friend Christopher Giles, he's not here, but he's probably one of my best friends and he's one of the people that got me into mountain biking and he's the one that's taken me to the race. So shout out to him because he's an absolutely great guy.
But now that's it for the video and I'll see you guys later.